Hey, there he is. High five. Don't move. Too slow. Come here, clown. Ah, upside down. <laughs> well, I wanted to give you this anyway. What is it? It's the bill for my divorce lawyer. You haven't been paying them. Told you they'd notice. I also need you to look this over and sign it. <clears throat> Hello, Charlie. Judith, how's it going? Hey, Uncle Charlie, show Mom how he mopped the floor with my hair. Well, it's not really mopping. It's more like dusting. What if you drop him on his head? I guess I will have to mop. <laughs> if I die after you die, guess who gets custody of Jake? Charlie. Charlie? Me? What about my sister? I never liked your sister. Is this the sister I slept with? Shut, Shut up, up, Charlie. <laughs> It never occurred to me that you'd even want to be a full-time parent. This isn't about what I want. This is about what you want, and you don't want me to have Jake. What? Nothing. Nothing. Why'd you say my name? Get over yourself. No one said your name. <laughs> Who's going to teach him all the things he needs to know? Jerry and Faye are both college professors. <laughs> I'm talking about the important stuff, about life. Face it, when the time comes, are those two eggheads going to step up and get your kid laid? <laughs> What do you say to Grandma? Can I at least open it first? Jake? No, he's right. Wait and see if he likes it. Oh, I'm kidding. No little boy wants a framed picture of his grandmommy. This is for your daddy. <laughs> what do you say, Dad? Don't push me, Jake. Where's your brother? Why? What'd he get? Nothing. I just want to make sure he knows why. <laughs> He's in his room. He's been sulking all weekend. Sulking? Crayons? I'm ten. Well, it's not just crayons, sweetheart. It's also a dinosaur coloring book. But I'm ten. Hey, uh, I've got to run some errands, so I'll be back in about an hour. You guys gonna be okay? Gee, Alan, you sure I can handle the responsibility? I mean, what if he wants to go to college or something? Charlie, please don't start. I'll, I'll see you later. You okay? No. All right, all right, don't panic. I'm not panicking. Good. Ah, oh, you're gonna be fine. We just gotta stop the bleeding. I'm bleeding? <laughs> ah! I'll grab my car keys and we'll head to the hospital. A hospital? I don't wanna go to a hospital. Did I say hospital? I meant Disneyland. <laughs> How's it going there, pal? You still bleeding? Nothing, nothing, just a little trickle. Here, take my shirt. Hold it up here. Ow! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, let's get you up nice and slow. Atta boy. I'm kinda hungry. Can we stop for a chili cheeseburger? You're hungry? How could you even think about food? What do you think about when you're hungry? Fair enough. You better call your dad. Hello? Why do you have your father's phone? I don't know. That's great. Bye. Follow my finger. He's gonna be fine. That's it? Boop, boop, boop. He's gonna be fine? It's not a medical test. That's how you hypnotize a chicken. I like a chili cheeseburger and fries, please. Age 10. Allergies? I don't know. Is there anything you eat that, that, that makes you sick? I had a worm once. No allergies. First name, Jake. Ub? Mm-hmm. Jacob, I knew that. <laughs> Middle name. You don't know? Of course I know. I want to see if you know. You fell on your head, dude. David. Wow, Jacob, David. They went full Old Testament on you, didn't they? <laughs> Come on, just hold my hand, look me in the eyes. Go ahead, Doc. Ow, ow, ow! Hey, hey, go easy on the kid. No, you're squishing my hand. Okay, you're gonna feel a little sting. Nobody said I had to get a shot. It's just to numb your skin so you won't feel the stitches. What are you gonna give me not feel a shot? It's all right, pal. I'm right here with you. Big deal, I'm still gonna get a shot in my head. Oh, hey, Judith. <laughs> no, it's me, Charlie. What am I doing with Alan's phone? Why, do you want custody of that, too? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, if Mom's ever in a coma, you're the one who has to decide to pull the plug. 
Pull. <laughs> All right, Mom, Charlie's on board. Hey. <laughs> cool hats. Uh, so, so you're saying that because I didn't name you as Jake's guardian, you're switching your medical power of attorney from me to Charlie? What's going on? God forbid something should ever happen to Judith and me. I would be very comfortable knowing that you were looking after my son. Dead, but comfortable. Can we stop for pizza? I can't believe this. I'm gonna have a little talk with your father. Hello? Charlie, look at me. Hey, how do you know my name? It's me. Me who? I know this comes as a shock to you. Please. If I had a nickel for every time a girl dumped me, disappeared for five years, and came back as a guy, I'd have a nickel. Remember when we broke up and I said, it's not you, it's me? <sighs> yes. And I believe you now. Charlie, how could I have explained it to you back then? I couldn't even explain it to myself. Okay, well, now you've explained. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Good luck with the penis. Charlie. Now, if you were really a man back then, you would have jumped at that three-way with the cocktail waitress in Carmel. I begged you. You haven't changed. I wish I could say the same. <clears throat> same here. I thought you were going to hook up with that old girlfriend who wanted to see you. Oh, right. Uh, turns out she changed her mind. Because he's your friend? I didn't object when you dated that friend of mine. You what? One time. I was 19 and she was a very doable 42. <laughs> and if you heard how she talked about you, you wouldn't call her a friend. I've heard enough. No. She doesn't know. Yeah, well, someone's gonna have to tell her. Charlie. What? I will clean your house free for a month if you let me do it. What are they arguing about now? It's actually kind of ironic. They're arguing about who gets you on what days. That is ironic. You know what ironic means? No, but I trust you. Oh, and uh, uh, Judith and her sister are going to join us as well. Which sister? The brunette or the blonde? The brunette. Why? Just curious. I never slept with a blonde. <laughs> Invited mom. You want to tell her she can't come to her only grandchild's birthday? Because believe me, I tried. Oh, man. But, uh, look at the bright side. Maybe we can bribe one of the magicians to get her sawed in half. <laughs> or better still, thrown in a wood chipper. Clothes? Happy birthday. Thanks a lot, but clothes? Not clothes, darling. It's Calvin Klein. No, it's close. Believe me, sweet. Almost ready? Judith and Liz will be here soon. Liz, thank you. <laughs> Boy, that would have been embarrassing. Charlie. Tart, the girls are gonna love you in this. What girls? All right, the other boys will be envious. The other boys will beat me up. Well, there's just no pleasing you, is there? I, I can see that. And this one is just the same, I swear. I, I believe you. Now watch. One, two, three. Hold on. One, two, three. Hmm. Ironic. Nothing Liz does with me is gonna make Judith any matter. I've already flown my mission. <laughs> the only play she has left is to sleep with you. No. Oh. oh, well, that's not gonna happen. Well, certainly not with that attitude. Can I see a trick? Oh, sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah. Honey, uh -huh. Good evening, sir or madame. Have we ever met before? <laughs> what, you want to go for? Why are they fighting? Oh, they're not fighting. They're discussing. I'm a child of divorce, Dad. I know the difference. You're a selfish, hateful person. Uh, maybe you should go to your room. It's my birthday. Ironic, huh? <laughs> you see the coin? Mm-hmm. Now, I grab it with this hand, and I blow, and it's gone. 
Where do you think it is? It's right here. <laughs> Jake, it's only 7 o'clock. I'm tired. All right, honey, I'll come tuck you in before I leave. Okay, that's a bad sign. Yeah, it's a symptom of clinical depression. You would know. <laughs> you do. I don't know, something fun. Maybe we can jam, Uncle Charlie. Great. Hey, Dad, can I eat my cereal done by the TV? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> what happened to him? If I didn't know better, I'd swear he got laid last night. <laughs> So she might try to take Jake out of your home. Why? It's a beautiful home. You should really come see it some evening. It's in Malibu. Right on the beach. I don't want to watch TV. I want to play my Game Boy. It's in your room. Whoa, 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 whoa. The parental code that unlocks the pay channels is 1234. 1234. Should have known. <laughs> Oh, I'm prior to the marriage. Charlie, coming! Shh! Why are you shushing me? Hang on. What? I'm on the phone with Laura. Say hi for me. Give it up, Charlie. She doesn't like you. True. Is it true that Jake saw a woman in the shower with you? Okay, uh, yes. <clears throat> now, in that instance, um, the door was closed. He didn't knock. And the door was closed. And, and I'm sorry, what was the question? And the last time I looked, it wasn't against the law to be single in the United States of America. Oh, God. <laughs> Bless America. Hey, you're going to be very sorry, Charlie Harper. Yeah, girls have been using that tired old line on me since the fifth grade. but I, I hung up before I said the bad stuff. Yeah, she does the same thing with you. I just thought you'd like to know that your brother's sleepwalking again. And you had to get in bed with me to tell me that? No, silly. I was already in bed with you. Jake, your grandmother's here. Oh, man. I mean, right here in the room. Oh, man, grandma's here. I blame you. Take a number. My doctor has a cow puppet. Really? MD or PhD? C-O-W. <laughs> Sweetie. You are so cute. I know. You have a girlfriend yet? No, I'm a bachelor like my Uncle Charlie. So you're never going to get married? No, as long as I got someone to clean my house and some action on a regular basis, I don't need a wife. <laughs> Yeah, we did get off to a bad start, and I really blame myself. No, no, I'd love to try again. Um, I'm gonna go get Jake, but I'll leave the front door unlocked in case Satan shows up to collect your soul. <laughs> Wait a minute, Alan, I gotta put you on hold of... Blame it on me. Tell her I'm sorry. She won't buy it. Sure she will. Women are suckers for a good apology. <laughs> Just keep shoveling it on till roses start growing in it. <laughs> Poor Satan. He'll come for your soul, and he'll leave empty-handed. Okay, I'm a jerk. I'm immature. I'm self-centered. I'm... Hi, I'm Charlie. Yes, we've heard about you. And I'll bet none of it's good. Are you and your mom close? Uh, yeah, I guess. I envy that, Kathleen. Me and my mom... Okay, we... Charlie, give it a rest. I mean, we're not a bunch of sorority girls you can charm with your big brown eyes. And nice smile. <laughs> oh, come on, at least give me a clue. All right. 
what do men have that women don't? Beards. Lower. Beards. Oh, Jay. Your Uncle Charlie is getting a vasectomy. Oh. What's wrong with the car you have now? Well done. Uh, Jake, it's not exactly the same with people as with dogs. I know. Why don't you just use a condom? Okay, it's a woman I went out with once. And she got a little clingy. You are a bad, bad boy. And yet, you're always the one getting spanked. <laughs> this, this could just destroy Jake. Jake? My son. Oh, yeah, teenagers are pretty sophisticated these days. He's ten. <laughs> Charlie, I'm going to go. Boy, is your eye red. You should see it from in here. I drank a little too much wine last night. If it makes you feel bad, why do you drink it? Nobody likes a wise ass, Jake. It's got oats and corns and wheat. It's the sweetest breakfast treat. It's, it's maple, 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 maple delicious. <laughs> you know who wrote that song? Your Uncle Charlie wrote that. No lie. Kid, if I was gonna lie, I'd say I wrote Stairway to Heaven, not the Maple Loop song. You have to put a dollar in the swear jar. You said ass. <laughs> Tell you what. Here's 20. That should cover me till lunch. Judith? who, let's face it, was never very warm to me. And what if there's another man there, shacking up with her? Have we even stopped to consider that? I think he's considering it now, Mom. Dollar. I'm in? In. I'll see the dollar. And raise it five. You raised five dollars on that? I call five dollars. <laughs> Take him down. Call you. I hate this kid. <laughs> Queens, full of nines. Oh. Hey, kid, don't you know what a full house is? Yeah, and I also know what a psych out is. <laughs> Love this boy. What the hell is going on here? You said hell. Throw a dollar in the pot. Hey, we all had to. Charlie? Hey, 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 don't put your juice box on the piano. It leaves a ring. How could a box leave a ring? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> huh? What do you think? Must have been before my time. Uh, Charlie, uh, you want to feel that one? No problem. Uh, Jake, sometimes when you have a casual sexual relationship... All right, all right. Uh... What did I tell you about leaving juice boxes on my piano? How do you know it's mine? Oh, come on. Who else around here drinks Transylvania goofy juice? Good point. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Heel, heel, heel. Stay. Now stay. Oh, oh, who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jake, uh, you want to take him? Whatever. Come on, Lee. All right, it's just you and me now. Are you really sick, or are you just faking it to get out of another fun-filled afternoon? I'm really sick. Just checking, because I was going to fake it. <laughs> I am going home to my wife to impose my dominion over her. Oh, yeah. The lesbians love that. <laughs> Robert! Sherman Oaks! And you completely screwed up our lives. I'm sorry? Well, that's good enough for me. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> try it, try it, try it! Hey, I'm the past. Andy's the future. Bye-bye now. Good luck, Andy. <laughs> Oh! 
Charlie! What? You kicked me in your sleep. Who said I was asleep? You're choking me. Trust me, you'll know when I'm choking you. I think my socks are on the wrong feet. Jake, dude, I'm right on the edge. <laughs> what happened? I have to go to the bathroom. Why did you take your clothes off? Sometimes I miss. Listen, Jake, buddy. Have you ever been to Vegas? So you're the infamous Uncle Charlie. Ladies, if you'll excuse me, I have to go, because, oh, hell, I don't need a reason. Someone's a little full of himself? Forget him. His brother's the one who's in play. Uh, what are you doing with Jake tomorrow? I don't know why. I made a play date for him with one of the kids from the game. You're hitting on the mother, aren't you? Can't slip one past you, can I? That's not what a play date is for. Did I do something wrong? Right. Well, I guess I'll uh, see you around. Well, where are you going? Home. Why? I mean, I said we couldn't do it again. That doesn't mean we can't do it tonight. Do you know where your uncle keeps the paper towels? I think there's some up there. Whoa. house too. My dad doesn't. His stuff's in the garage. <laughs> you know how I play Vampire Hunter? Because I just got it. No, sorry. You gotta chop off their heads, otherwise they'll keep coming at you. Hi, you must be Alan. I'm Cindy. Hi. Uh, hey, uh, Jake, it's, uh, it's time to get dressed. Wait a minute. <laughs> Can you get me a bowl from that top shelf? No, no, let's go. Let's go. When I moved in here, I said that it was vital that we create a wholesome atmosphere for Jake, and you said I understand. Alan, there's something you should know about me. When I say I understand, it doesn't mean I agree. It doesn't mean I understand. It doesn't even mean I'm listening. <laughs> men, 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 manly men, 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 men. Uh -huh. men. Well, that's very altruistic, but I, I would prefer if you just be straight with me. Fine. All I'm asking is that you keep in mind that we have an impressionable ten-year-old boy living here. I understand. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you going? To make my friend a grilled cheese sandwich. Rose, Rose, I don't want a grilled cheese sandwich. Would you prefer a quesadilla? That sounds nice. <laughs> One child drew a record player, another drew a parrot. My son drew this. A woman's behind with a butterfly tattoo. On the right cheek. Is that the girl in the picture? Rose? No, she doesn't have a tattoo on her butt. I'm guessing. Yeah. Look, I... Cancun? No, spell Cancun. It's in Mexico, why? We should go there for Christmas instead of Aunt Betty's. What are you reading? Sports Illustrated. But there's mostly ladies in bathing suits. Jake, look, can we talk about this picture Jake drew? What's the talk about? He's a boy. He saw a woman's ass. He liked it. <laughs> Thank your lucky stars it wasn't the cable guy's ass and move on. <laughs> Those breasts alone cost ten grand. You can buy these? Thank you, Charlie. Some women choose to, uh, see, that's the lesson here. Do, do you get what I'm saying? I think so. You sure? There's nothing to be embarrassed about. I mean, do you, uh, do you have any questions? Just one. Fire away. Have a magazine back. Uh, to make their breasts larger, uh, with, uh, 
with what's called uh, uh, surgical implants. Why? Oh, well, they think bigger is better. I can see that. What, what really matters, Jake, is, 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 is what's inside a person. Congratulations, Alan. You've managed to take the fun out of boobs. And I got to see penguins and a man ray. And I got to pet a shark. And the coolest thing was the whales. They splashed everybody. You could see right through this one lady's shirt. And I think maybe she had plants. So you, uh, you had a good trip. Yeah, when I got home, I went to the movies with Mom and Cindy. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait, uh, 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 you, Mom, and Cindy? There you go. Implants. Yeah, implants. Ask Grandma if she had them, and Grandpa said, I wish. And then she got mad at him, and then they bought me ice cream. Why don't we give her Aunt Betty's number? Squeeze that fat ass into a wetsuit. I uh, hear, Jake. Take your pizza and go watch TV in your room. That's a fat ass. You've seen Aunt Betty. It's not swearing if it's true. Now go. The jogger. The one on the left. Real? Good eye. With the sports bra, they could have gone either way. Of course, if they do go either way, they're usually fake. Jake. Who did you think she's kidding with those things? Jake, I swear, if you don't stop it, I'm taking you home. I understand. Fake. Real. Man. You gonna introduce me? What for? Well, she's your... Teacher, you're my nephew. I feel like, oh, come on, just do it. Don't you want to see my model of a California mission? It's made of sugar cubes. Okay. First your mission, then mine. Um, except when my dad moved back to mom's house, I probably wouldn't see you anymore. Of course you'd see me. You'd still have your room here and I'd come visit. You never visited before. That's because I didn't know you before. That's because you never visited. Watch the kids. We'll be right back. Wait! Jake? Where's Jake? They're fighting again, aren't they? Yeah, what can I tell you, Jake? Your mom wired up and your dad's freaking out. Stay cool, I'll try to get him back in here. Hey, everybody. Jake's in charge, so whatever he says. My dad's not sad. Of course he is. He's just trying to protect you. From what? From being sad. Yeah, I know. It's a vicious circle. But the liquor industry is built on it. What? The girls look pretty every time we seen beer. You like what you see and you like what you hear. Have a full crusty mug and pull her near. The girls look prettier. The girls look prettier. The girls look prettier every time we seen beer. Three, four. Christmas pageant. Agreed. Even with the advent of indoor plumbing, the Industrial Revolution still had some bugs in the system. What was man to do? Hey, what are you doing? Picking out a shirt. Oh, that one looks nice. You like it? Yeah. Then no. <laughs> okay. Well, I have a kid now. Oh, God, Charlie. What poor girl did you knock up? No, no, it's my nephew. He and my brother are living with me now. I'm like Mr. Family Guy. <laughs> You're right, Family Guy. How's it going with your mom? What the hell's my mom got to do with family? Traditional values? This from a guy who offered my sister a car if she'd come to bed with us? It was a joke, and I was drunk. 
But still, it shows a yearning for family. <laughs> Uh, uh, Phil is Jake's soccer coach. Uh, Phil, you remember Judith. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I... One Mississippi. Uh, uh, Alan... What? Two Mississippi. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, uh, look, Alan, I, I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. No, no, call me. We'll hang out. Great, great. Hey, how's Tuesday? Tuesday's good. Judith, how's Tuesday for you? Just walk away. Okay, we're all caught up. What, wait, 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 wait. You're, you're dating Phil? How can you be dating Phil? Well, Alan, he asked me out. What about the whole gay thing? Did you even give that a chance? <laughs> Phil, we've been... Come on, let it go. I'll treat you to a cherry Slurpee. I don't want a cherry Slurpee. You sure? Because I think Phil's gonna get one. Men, 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 men. It doesn't matter what Judith is, it only matters what she's not. And what is she not, Charlie? She is not coming back to you, pal. <laughs> Thank you for your sensitivity. All I'm saying is, is that Judith has moved on with her life, and maybe it's time for you to do the same. I know, I know. It's Women get to experiment with their sexuality. It's only guys who have to make a choice and stick to it. Where do you get this stuff? I make it up. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't... I am gonna die alone. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Pretty much everything. Everything? Yep. The hair, the clothes, the fuddy-duddy personality. What do they know about my personality? Okay, that part's mine. <laughs> Give me a minute. If it was up to them, you'd die alone. Great. How come you haven't changed anything yet, Dad? Why should I change? So you look cool like Mom? You don't think I look cool now? No. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter if I look cool. We judge a person by what's inside them, not by what they wear. Lucky for you, huh? She walks around the house <clears throat> singing all the time. She just sings for no reason? I guess. I wonder if it's the same reason I sing for no reason. Does Coach Phil sing for no reason? Oh, for God's sake, Charlie. Get your jacket. Fine, I'll put on my stupid jacket, we'll get in the stupid car, and we'll go stupid clothes shopping. Hey, don't talk to your stupid father like that. I was in the bathroom uh, looking at myself in the mirror when I noticed, and I think I can be completely objective about this, that uh, I have a, a very nice ass for a guy my age. And I, I, I think I should start dressing in such a way as to uh, play that card. You know. How old are you? Ten. Seven. I said ten. If I'm 55, you're seven. He's an adorable boy. How's it going in there? Whatever happened to zippers? I miss zippers. I don't know, Alan. Maybe there were too many injuries. Nobody ever got their balls caught in a buttonhole. Just loves me so much. Oh, Jake. Jake, tell my friend Cheryl how much you love Grandmommy. Oh, go on, darling. Ten. <laughs> Rose, what are you doing here? Babysitting. Where's my mother? She left. Why? I don't know. We were watching SpongeBob SquarePants and she stood up and said life was too short. <laughs> Hello. See you back there. Well, I'd better get started on that work. 
I have to do. Hey, Prudence, you set up my Xbox. You ready to play? Sure. Get to work, Prudence. Maybe later, handsome. Stupid old woman. <laughs> Isn't she wonderful? <laughs> um, do you have a girlfriend? Me? Oh, yeah. Big time girlfriend. <laughs> We're practically engaged. Prudence, he's old enough to be your father, and knowing your mother, he might be. <laughs> Just wash the damn windows. I'm not your father. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at that kiss. What? Huh? Oh, oh, thank God. No, Prudence, I'm the third fastest runner in my class. Cool. Spring break's over. Back to work. Later, stud. Boy, she smells good. Yeah, if you like camel filters and pheromones. Two o'clock in the morning. This better be God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, look, Prudence, this just can't happen. I mean, you're very nice and pretty, but in prison, so am I. Hey. Prudence, what the hell are you doing here? I had a fight with my grandmother. So? When I have a fight with my grandmother, I don't come to your house. I know, I'm sorry. I just didn't know where else to go, and I thought you were cool. So we just need a place to crash tonight, because tomorrow we're going to go to Vegas and get married. Oh, Prudence, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you leave right now, you can beat the traffic. <laughs> we can't go tonight. Freddie's got to pick up his last paycheck from the photo mat. Yeah. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Well, you know how I've always told you that you should always tell your parents the truth, no matter what? Mm-hmm. Well, forget it. <laughs> Charlie... Hi, Judith. Hello, Alan. Charlie. Judith. You ready to go, sweetheart? Yep. So how was your weekend? Uncle Charlie says I don't have to tell you. <laughs> Just try it. Hey, that's good. Of course it is. It's chicken in Fremunda sauce. Fremunda sauce? Yeah, from under the toilet. <laughs> get it, Dad? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I got it. I told you, don't take things off his plate. He's coming down with something. Relax. I never get sick. Boy, is he sick. <laughs> well, I can't say he didn't warn me. <laughs> Look, I know I said I wanted you out of the house for my date tonight, but you're obviously indisposed, so don't worry about it. Thank you. Just stay in your room so the coughing and hacking doesn't kill the moon. <laughs> Anything else I could do to enhance your evening? How you feeling? Horrible. Is that tea? Yeah. Cool. Excuse me. Hasn't anybody noticed I'm sick and miserable here? Yes, Alan, we noticed. Which is why we're gonna make like hockey players and get the puck out of here. Get it, Dad? Puck's not a bad word, but it sounds like one. This isn't the best time. Alan's pretty sick. Oh, no. Poor Alan. Is Charlie taking good care of you? Not really. Would you like me to take care of you? Not really. Don't be silly. Looks like you're in good hands. Come on, Jake. I don't think that's going to help him. No, but it helps us. Jake, go to your room. If you want to talk about sex, why don't you go to your room? Now! Fine. Charlie, first of all, I don't want to talk about dating in front of my son while his mother and I are in the middle of a divorce. The girl I'm going out with tonight needs a date for her sister. Are you insane? No, but I hear the sister's a bit of a freak. Are you guys done yet? Yeah, we're done. 
Now we're going to get your father back on his feet. How? Well, would you like to go see a bunch of naked boobs? Sure. Charlie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, a priest, a minister, and a rabbi. I forgot the rest. I got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Wait. You know why they call this a European health spa? Because European. <laughs> Okay, a priest, a minister, and a rabbi walk into a barn. It's a bar, Jake. Not a barn. A barn. It is? Now I get it. That's funny. I want the good stuff. I want cheese that isn't airdropped into third world countries. I want ouchless toilet paper. I want vodka that doesn't look like Fred Flintstone would drink it. Who's the favorite? Green Bay. Did you bet them? No. You took the Redskins? Uh-uh. No action? None. I want my life back. Fine, then. Swallow your pride, call Mom, and ask her to lend you some money. yabba dabba do. <laughs> Great house. Oh, wow. You're right on the beach. I've got to go for a swim. What are you doing? We're playing mummy on a chair. I'm the mummy. Judith, hi. Is Jake ready to go? Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, Jake, your mom's here. Charlie. Charlie. She's taking her clothes off. Yeah. Is this a great country or what? Stand here, Charlie. Hey, guys. Rose? Well, I got news for you, lady. The term is white trash. <laughs> Do you know her? Nope, that's a new one. Hey, Judith. Hi, I'm Joni. Hey, I'm gonna go play in my room. Can I come with you? Whatever. <laughs> If he can just keep that attitude for another 30 years, he's gold. I'm not afraid. Girl's really annoying. I think maybe she has a crush on you. Well, yeah, that's what's annoying. You don't really like girls yet, huh? No, I like girls. Just not into eight-year-olds. I don't know. <laughs> it's been so long since anybody's touched me. Alan? Yeah? It's been so long since anybody's touched me. How much did you see? Just enough to make sleep impossible. <laughs> no, I was hiding when he was supposed to find me been over an hour. If I see him, I'll let him know. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Look on the bright side, Alan. What bright side? You're gonna get late tonight. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, I think I'm gonna cry again. Maybe